For this workshop, we're going to be using Google Classroom. You're going to start each week at classroom.google.com and you're going to find the Teaching Math with Desmos class and click on the title. Now this is going to take you to the stream. Notice along the top it says stream, classwork, and people. We're going to focus on the stream for a second. And this is where you can have conversations. Online should be about interactions, not just slapping things online. So this is a great opportunity to share some resources, interact with classmates, ask a question. So you'll notice it says right here, share something with your class. I have never used Desmos. Additionally, you can attach something, add something from your Google Drive, include a YouTube video, or link to a resource that you enjoy, and click Save. And that posts it to the stream for classmates to see, and they can comment. Notice that we have conversations. In addition to classmates and teachers being able to share resources and ask questions, any assignment that was posted will be announced on the classwork page. So notice this assignment number 000 is announced on the stream. I can see the full description. And if I want to submit work or interact with this assignment, I'm going to need to click on the title. It's going to open the assignment for me. If I click back on classes, go back to the teaching math with Desmos, this does take me back to the stream. I'm going to click on the classwork page though. This is really the focus of where Google Classroom happens. All your work is organized on the classwork page. So when you come here, you'll notice several things. You've got an opportunity to view your work, which gives you a list of all of the assignments in a succinct way. You'll notice the list of all the assignments organized by topic. If you click on the topic title, it will filter for that topic. So you can see all of the activities just under that topic. Click on classwork to return back to the classwork page. Notice that you have each assignment is in an assignment stripe. You can click on the stripe to expand out a preview of the assignment, but really you want to make sure that you click on view assignment every time so that you get the full picture of the assignment. So what you're going to see here is the assignment description or title, the assignment description, an opportunity to ask class comments. So these are things that you can ask that you want all everyone in the whole workshop to be able to see and respond to. And then over here on the right hand side is the your work section. You can add things from your Google Drive or link to a resource or upload a file. Or you can create a blank Google Docs, slide sheets, or drawings straight into Classroom. What you'll notice is that there is a Mark as Done button. For every assignment, please mark as done to alert me that you're finished with this activity. Notice though, if you add anything, for example, if I create a Google Doc for this assignment, not only does it put my name on it, it says turn in. So I'm able to turn in the assignment and then the teacher knows that you have completed this. Now, turned in or not, you have the ability to leave a private comment. To me, this is the most valuable element of Google Classroom is the private comments. So please pay careful attention that you're using private comments versus what is awesome about private comments is it's not a comment. It's a conversation. And so the instructor, me, I can reply back to you and we have a back and forth conversation through private comments. So notice here that Krista has left a note for the teacher and that I was able to respond back to her. Now one of my tricks is I use AK with my initials. For me, it's a teacher trick so that I know that I've responded to your comments. It doesn't work for students. Students can tell who left the comment. You can clearly see the icon and the name. So you can just type your private comments and have a conversation with me right in the sidebar. So you've submitted, you've left a private comment, then click back up on the title, brings you back to the stream so you can interact with classmates, or click back over on classwork to go to your next assignment.